Hi guys, just trying out the um, new GoPro. Um, this car's not the quietest car in the world, so don't really know how much sound is going to be coming through to me, if you know what I mean. From me, rather. Compared to road noise and engine noise. Etc, uh, etc. Et um, but it's quite nice having the little front screen so I can see myself. Make sure I'm in, in shot as such. Which is really, really cool. And all these different view modes and things as well. So, quite cool, I've got it. Um, still yet to stick it on the back of the car to film the motorbikes and everything. Um, but that's going to happen soon. Probably on this road I'm on now, which actually is, is quite nice, actually, for quite picturesque, which is cool. So that'll happen at some point. I'm just heading up onto the South Downs now, um, where maybe I might stick a drone up. Depends how windy it is up there, because it was gusting a little bit earlier, but the weather's gone a bit weird again. The sun, the forecast of any sun is gone, but actually it's quite bright. There's some interesting holes in the clouds with some rays. So we, we may get to see some. Who knows? Um, but we shall see. Got the RX10 Mark IV with me as well, so I was kind of tripod with me. Um, and if the sunset may happen, who knows? Might get some shots. We shall see as well. Um, I've ordered the with the drone. I've ordered the Fly More pack as well, which is like two more batteries. The battery charge which does all three batteries so you just as you plug it in forget about it which is good um, but having that one battery even though you get quite a good flight time out of it when you've been to one location you kind of that's it you know you can get your shots done and then if you want to go somewhere else you kind of got to wait for it to recharge them so having those two extra batteries when I had the um, the Air 2 uh, Mavic Air 2 that was really really handy having the three batteries because I'd fly and move and then fly and move and then fly and move and obviously swap batteries each time as well so that worked really really well Fiesta ST up front So, as you can see, put the GoPro on the outside of the car. This is sped up a bit because I wasn't going particularly fast down this road. Um, so I just doubled the speed so you don't have to watch it for too long. But, really cool. The stabilisation on that Hero 10 is even better than the Hero 7 on black I had before, which was still amazing. So, really, really pleased. The super view, which is nuts, so you can get the whole of the inside of the car, which I couldn't do before, is really, really cool.
I stopped at the top of the, uh, the downs there and it was really windy as you just heard a second ago and I was going to take a load of photos up here I did a, a few a few birds in flight and stuff like that but as you can see there the gusts were getting big I was going to fly the drone here but I sort of it shows how quickly weather can change because it was pretty calm up there for about five minutes and then suddenly the wind just came and I thought mm, no the thing with the Mini 3 Pro is it's a lot lighter and a lot smaller obviously than some of the Air, Air 2 that I had before and the Air 2 was quite capable in sort of 30 mile an hour winds quite it didn't really care uh, even though I'm more of a fair weather flyer anyway so yeah um, I didn't really risk it but here's a couple of the pictures the air quality was terrible um, it was quite I was up in the clouds as such there was quite a lot of low very thin cloud where we are up on the top of the downs there so it looks noisy and grainy but that's not to do with the ISO that's to do with the actual air uh, quality and obviously the light and everything so it can look a little bit grainy but that's just down to literally that it's got nothing to do with it being high ISO or anything like that it's just crap light basically um, still hitting focus quite happily across the fields there with the uh, the crows or whatever they were flying but as you can see here um, it is quite misty um, and it even didn't want to focus a couple of times so it basically hunted and there's one shot there and yeah I mean to us it's kind of cool at the same time because it's kind of a bit of an abstract kind of shot if someone said where's that he says South Downs <laughs> I mean if I'd wound it wound the focus slightly yeah, slightly more towards infinity it probably would look a bit better but um, yeah a uh, quick snap of the car I was basically just dying to get out with the camera and hadn't been out for a few days and I just thought you know what I need to get out and uh, another shot there but yeah uh, even though the weather was rubbish it was still nice to be out and about so I stopped on the corner where you can see from where, sort of where the other lighthouse is out to see and the views are always pretty good I'm actually stood 30 feet away from the edge of the cliff it's just where the bit goes out further to the right of me so even though I can get quite a good view I'm actually stood up quite high it was quite cool as the seagulls were just cruising along the cliff edge or the cliff line rather um, it looked quite cool And uh, but you can see there it's not particularly sharp because the, the air quality was rubbish with low cloud and everything so or mist but you know it, it's good to be out and just, just snapping away really so the weather is changing but it's quite shaded, uh, shaded uh, sheltered over there so I might just buzz the drain over towards the cows a little bit because they're at a watering hole which looks really cool, it's like an old jute pond so we're going to uh, just capture one more shot of the um, lighthouse there with this sort of angle I'm not sure I then braved it I put the Mini 3 Pro up in 30 mile an hour plus gusts <laughs> um, never shat my pen so much in my life and I only took it low over this grass here um, and to us when I took it up you can see it doesn't look that bad but was I took it across the field a little bit I didn't go far at all I just wanted I just was desperate to fly the thing and I thought oh the nice little meadows the cows in the distance it might look quite nice and you'll see the drone moving around on its own when it's hovering second and you can see in certain areas of the grass there it's really gusty um, the drone was actually going, shame I haven't got any outside view, but the drone was going absolutely nuts. It was sitting at 45 degrees, um, tilting left, just to try and keep itself stationary. And you'll be able to see it in a minute, the drone moving around a little bit. When it starts moving around like now, it's moving left, right, up and down a little bit on its own. That's got nothing to do with me, that's to do with the wind. I just put the camera into manual mode, so I could pick the exposure and everything like that. But as you can see, that's moving on just the wind alone. And it doesn't look that bad. Um, it's just the way I thought I was going to be quite sheltered down here behind the cliff edge and the big hill and everything totally opposite it was coming round around the hill and uh, as you can see the birds flying around at super speed but yeah it was just it got worse very very quickly and I thought oh Christ so yeah I tried again just to be brave because I thought worst comes to worst I can literally just push my sticks towards and down and that would just shut the motors off and it would just drop into the grass so it's not going to damage itself that was my, my contingency plan uh, to save it if I needed to because I wasn't going to go up it was literally um, ridiculous I just wanted to get the, the flowers as I was cruising across to see what it looked like really and 
obviously you've got the zoom as well. I thought maybe that would narrow the angle down a little bit, head towards the cows. But as you can see there, it's a bit all over the place, just left and right slightly, and that is literally just the wind buffeting it. Um, it's fighting itself, trying to get keep itself back. Um, but yeah, it didn't feel that bad. I was stood, but obviously once I got it out into the meadow, it was. And I think the wind was coming round to the right-hand side of that the lighthouse up there on the hill. And it was coming round the other side, so I couldn't feel it because I was towards this side or the left-hand side of the cliff. Uh, so yeah, very very deceiving. It also just a little lesson learnt about flying drones that the weather can change very very quickly. Uh, you know, within minutes or less than a minute, it can just literally the wind gets up and that's it really. But I was being brave. I was trying to keep the thing steady. Um, as you can see there, it doesn't look too bad. It's still very smooth. Um, but yeah, at the same time, I was, you know crapping it a bit because I didn't want to crash the thing or didn't want it to blow away you know and I'm, I'm still out of practice of flying drones because I hadn't had one for over a year beforehand so you know it was just a case of just messing around but you can see there it's just still getting moved around by the wind so very 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 uh, cautious in front you can see there you know it's just getting blustered about um, loving it though absolutely loving it. one of the best things I've ever bought um, but we just need some decent weather and get up out early with it and you know, whatever. So, you know, just want to use it more. Plus, I've also got the um, Fly More combo pack coming at some point. Um, so, just waiting on two extra batteries of the charger and all the other bits in the proper bag for it so I could actually put it somewhere safe. Yeah, I put it down on the road and just grabbed it, and that was it. That was kind of a couple of minutes worth of flying. Back to taking photos. That's one of the cows having a munch. There is a fence there just in the distance, but it's quite a thin one, so I didn't delete it. Um, yeah, so RX-10 performing really well. Actually really pleased on the kind of uh, setup I'm running now. So the GoPro Hero 10, this drone is amazing for what it is. With the screen, just literally turn it on, fly. It's so much better than trying to plug your phone into the thing. But as you can see here, the moody clouds coming across, um, the mist in the sea and everything like that, it was just grim, so it does look a little bit grainy. The random lady with the red hat, that was kind of bizarre. Um, but kind of makes a good picture because of the red in the lighthouse so I thought it sort of complemented it but as you can see out there it's not very nice it was a pretty horrendous day considering our weather forecasts at the moment are saying oh it's sunny spells and not too bad and then you go out and it's moody clouds trying to rain really windy so the weather forecasts do not match what we're actually being what's actually happening compared to what we're being told and um, there's an old watering hole which is basically an old dew pond and the last couple of shots of the lighthouse there uh, looking over the edge but from a distance three people it's hilarious literally both looking at their phones and the guy literally just looking staring it was bizarre it was one of those moments of like I'm going to snap that because that looks a bit surreal And as you could hear there, the wind was just literally. This is how bad it started to get. So I was like, mm. but it's always worth going out. I, you know, I don't care if the weather's rainy, windy, sunny, snowing, whatever. I always want to get out with the camera. It doesn't matter what um, the weather's doing. Like I say, it's it's always just worth going out because you never know what you're going to capture. Yeah, you're going to struggle sometimes, but it's good for you. It's good to have a little adventure. It's good to for the the brain, you know, just to be active and. You know, experiment with new settings. Get out of your, you know, your um, comfort zone, and just snap. You know, try and be artistic. Sometimes you see some insane stuff. You know, sometimes I've seen this water here, like a mill pond, super clear, like it's in, you know, in Greece or something like that. But then today it was like brown and this, that, and the other. So you know, doing handheld um, long exposures, it's like almost a one second handheld exposure on the RX10, work quite nicely. So there's lots to do. You know, and you know, depending on what country you're from, where you live, you know, just get outside, you know, and just get out and experiment. It's the best way, um, one, to stay mentally healthy. I mean, photography is one of the things that kept me going through the old lockdowns and stuff like that. It was, you know, amazing, really. Um, but it's a passion, you know, something I love doing. So, anyway, um, don't forget to click, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the little notification bell as well if you're new. And any questions, comments, anything appreciated, feel free, feel free to leave below. Um, 
yeah, new videos coming soon. So I just thought I'd put this one up because I just want to try out the new kit.